We are coming to you from uh, Mark Twain Lake, starting to head down the Lick Creek Trail. Uh, we were in town for MOGA 2010, going for a cache called One If I See, Two If I Land. Uh, going for this cache, uh, doing something kind of crazy that even though we had some top competitors at this year's MOGA, this man is going to do something crazy. He's going to go swim for this cache. It is possibly out on an island, but he's going to go swimming. He may not have placed in the uh, event, but he's going to go do, do something that the other, the other competitors have not done. See you when we get there. A little bit of story, more information about this cash. Uh, it's a cash by Fizz, and he is grant, uh, willing to grant one of three FTFs for it. You know, one if you come by sea, one if you come by land, and another by swimming. That's how he decided to do the swimming part. As we're making our way along the trail, we seem to have lost the trail. <laughs> I hope this isn't a foreboding of things to come. Okay. So, <laughs> we'll make our way out there some way, somehow. Yeah, I might have to start swimming sooner than I intended. And, and... So while we uh, may have uh, lost our way on the trail, well, not really lost the way, but lost the trail, uh, we think we are along the right track because the cache description does mention about having finding a benchmark about halfway to the cache. And uh, we are here. Well, well, we didn't come quite down uh, the point that was given on the, uh, in the cache page, but we are down here along the shore. We can see the island from here. Uh, and we do see the uh, land bridge that it's talking about. Uh, it's not exactly a land bridge at the moment, but we just met somebody who is a local and is on this trail quite often and says it's probably, uh, you know, just a foot of waiting or so. Uh, but we will find out once we get out there. Yeah, perhaps the hard way. So we're out here at the point at which Dad is going to go swimming. The cache listing says that uh, at around a uh, lake level depth, lake level of about 605 feet, a land bridge should appear. Uh, we checked the website this morning. They take a reading every, uh, midnight every morning, and it says it's about 6:08. Uh, we just met somebody up on the Lick Creek Trail as we were coming in, and they, they were suggesting that uh, the depth out here between the the point along this channel is uh, probably going to be just about a foot deep of water or so, but uh, Dad will be seeing here. Yeah, from what I'm seeing with the ripples, uh, it's going to be considerably deeper than that. This is going to be a genuine swim, not a wade. I'm sure I look stupid right now in all this gear, and this idea is starting to look even more stupid. And I'm just afraid how cold this water is going to be. Uh. All for the smiley. Yeah, the smiley. All right. <laughs> you know that temperature thing? Yeah.
And he has made it across, ladies and gentlemen. I made it to the island. Now, I kind of think I should have done this later in the summer. That water was cold. Well, less than 400 feet in the cage. Well, I'm showing 95 feet from the cache. There's only one problem. It's somewhere down there. No, now, this is getting worse. Uh, beautiful scenery here. Really beautiful. Nice pontoon boat out, out there across the lake. Uh, it, the problem is the cache is still showing 41 feet uh, that way. Yeah. Well, a few wounds. There's just a few of them right there. But, I get to do this. The very best part. Watching this to cache open. Found. Ha! <laughs> Did it. And it's, it's such a gorgeous sight up here. I could just sit here for hours. I wish I brought a picnic lunch. I could just sit here and look out over this. But, I got it. I've done it. It feels good. Well, he's now found the cache. And he's now going to start making his way back. I think that was the scariest one I've ever done. Swimming, I've done that before. And I hung off a cliff before. But, but and when I've hung off cliffs before, I've had ropes. Never in my swimsuit. GPS throwing me all over the place because of the, the overhang of the rocks. Sharp drop right down into what I'm sure was a bunch of jagged rocks underneath the water down there. But, once I found the cache, perch on that little outcropping, look around, it's so gorgeous. I wish I brought a picnic, I could have sat there all afternoon. Just don't roll over.